still remember uh, my first year co- coaching college, and my dad said, he's not the same guy. It's mm-hmm. because I quit being a control freak out there and allowed the players to play, get entrusted them, gave them a say in what was going on, so that way they had ownership. And I think that's part of it, too, is that I give players a lot of ownership in their development, not only in practice, but in the games. I'll listen to what players have to say coming off, coming out of timeouts or going into a timeout, what they have to say coming um, out of a game. And it's usually, you know, I'll let them. And if I agree with it, I'll tell them. If not, you know, we, we just move on. But I do take a lot of player input. And I think that has helped us be successful also because they, they've played enough basketball. They see what's going on too. And, you know, one of the things I always say at halftime, what did you guys see that we didn't see? Mm. Sometimes they'll speak up. Sometimes they don't. But the opportunity to invest in their success is there. And I think that helps. I almost got like, uh, I almost got like a little emotional at there as you were kind of finishing up. Cause I was like, you know, it, it really is, um, it, it really is special the way that you coach players. I, I think that it's so cool. You know, if I could have um, more coaches like yourself and if players could have more coaches like yourself where you feel like you can have ownership, you know, it, it's one of the, it's one of the most frustrating things as a player to see something that is very obvious on the court and be like, I need to, Oh, this needs to change. Are we, or we're, we're, we're constantly, missing our assignment here defensively based on how we're, we're rotating and based on how yes. we're communicating. We need a right. term, we need a terminology to the group that we can start talking about. We need, we need some form of change. And when you bring it up, the coach just goes, um, the coach isn't open to that or he's, or he's open to it, but there's not enough of, uh, there's not enough acceptance of that. And so it doesn't end up going into play. And then you keep making the same mistakes. Right. It's it's frustrating to make the same mistakes as a player. It's frustrating probably as a coach too. So sure. I, I think the way that you empower your players is super cool. And I really look forward to seeing how you continue to empower your coaches um, in this scenario of you being that and then empowering the players too, like in, in your future team. So 